Chris Blundo is Director of Operations at Pearson College. He oversees many of the tasks and travel on and off the island. I think if we start um, in the early 1970s when the college was just starting in the first few years, um, as you know, there has been you know a, a diving program and sailing program and marine sciences component to the Pearson experience. In the early days of the college, they discovered this place called Race Rocks. Last Parnell, another student at Pearson College, is both a diver and marine science student. I'm going to see you guys. So, I'm going to see you guys. 
Now, if you flash forward uh, a little bit more in the early 1980s, um, a group of students actually, uh, with a few teachers, realized the um, special nature and the importance of race rocks and lobbied really hard the um, provincial government to designate race rocks as a marine park. Because up until that point it wasn't, and the students felt really compelled to try to allow and afford some level of protection to race rocks. Owing to the special nature of race rocks, many teachers and students wanted to protect the island. A few years later, race rocks became an ecological reserve protected under the BC Provincial Park System. Part of the reason why race rocks remained so vibrant and so full of life was that because there were some eyes and ears there. And we always felt that it was important to have a human presence there to you know, witness what happens, quote unquote, you know, when nobody's looking. Because there, there would be a high incidence of poaching, for instance, if there was nobody keeping an eye on things over there. So what we did then was petition the provincial government to say, um, please allow us to act on your behalf as your eco-guardians. 